Uh, so the issue with the Pentecostal church for me and why I wrote the letter to the Pentecostal, and everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say this, right? No? Okay, well, the Pentecostal, the very brief history, and, uh, and uh, Greg has helped, helped me craft that letter, so I want you to know that Greg was involved with this as well. Um, but uh, when the Pentecostal church, uh, there was an organization called the Mennonite, Cent- Mennonite Central Committee, yeah. right? who organized an event. Um, it was a, supposed to be an event on reconciliation, uh, and there was going to be, there's a group called the Buffalo Gals, who is a drum group in the, in the North End, who is mixed, by the way, between both traditional people and Christians. Um, they were going to sing a song at that event, and they asked to smudge before, like most people, they asked to uh, take medicine and partic- with from the earth, we talk about honoring the earth, and they wanted to bring the, that earth to themselves before they sang. It's very, actually very little about it is religious. It is all spiritual. It's about taking the earth and encompassing yourself with that. Um, much in the way that you would take dirt and you would hold that dirt before you. It's much in the way that you would walk. Much in the way that you would breathe. That is what smudging is. Smudging is of the participation with the earth. And, uh, but the Pentecostal church made the determination that that is not something they want happening within their building. Um, and uh, before I make a statement on that, I'd say that their choice is that they would, they've asked not there to be no smudging within their building. Um, the church on, uh, what's it called? Wilkes. Wilkes. Is it on Wilkes, yeah. So I took issue with that, and this is now my opinion. This is not their opinion. This is my opinion. So my opinion is that um, I really fundamentally believe that as a member of a community, that we have, we, and especially a community that... Uh, is a Christian community. At the core teachings of Christianity is one of love, respect, honor. Actually, all the seven grandfather teachings are the most Christian teachings I know, everything I know about the Bible. And the way that you do that is uh, using incense is part of that. And the offering of incense, which come, which came, by the way, from brown people, it didn't come from Europe. Incense came from Egypt. And it came from other places, but particularly Egypt, the Middle East. And that that gift from brown people to the Christian church and the handing down of that, all of those traditional teachings from, you know, to Rome, to all of those, the history of the, of the rise of the Christian church comes from a commitment to the earth. So first thing, I think that's a fundamentally wrong position in Christianity. Now, I'm no expert. I don't have a PhD in Christianity, but... Uh, I certainly think that that's a fundamentally wrong position to think that the burning of medicine that comes from North America is somehow less valuable than the burning that comes from the Middle East of medicine. I think both are commitments to the earth and both demonstrate your commitment to a territory. And if someone wants to come onto territory, it doesn't really matter how long my family's been here, but someone that's going to commit to this land, I think one of the fundamental problems with the omnibus legislation is we don't commit to land. Because we don't commit to land. If we further refuse to deny our relationship with land, we are doing a disservice to ourselves and we will kill ourselves. So that was my offering to... Because I don't think they should smudge. If they don't want to smudge, don't smudge. But I want to have a conversation about why you're not smudging. And, And fundamentally, it's not about religious difference for me. It's around being committed to the earth and sharing territory. Now, at the same time, Pentecostal churches from across North America smudge all the time. The Calvary Pentecostals in particular have made a commitment to smudging within their spiritual practice. I'm not saying Pentecostals are all the same because we have to realize that there's two centers to creation. There's nothing wrong with that. But I want to know the difference. And I'm curious as to what the difference is between why indigenous people, indigenous Pentecostals in Calgary, and in fact the indigenous Pentecostals I've met with here, and I've had three different coffee meetings with people, uh, indigenous Pentecostals who have all said, I smudge all the time. And I smudge in my home, and I also sm- smudge in my places of religious worship. Why a place chooses to believe in or. Why, what's, what, what are we so scared about? And how much further are we going to build these walls in between one another? Because this is my home, and I'm not going anywhere. I love this place. I love this place more than anyone I know. And I believe in it. And I believe in us. My father, who does a little bit of work here and there, (laughs) taught me that the only way, 
The only possible way we're going to find reconciliation in this country is if we stay in the room. Because when we start building up walls with one another, when we start leaving the room, and when we start calling each other names, and names that are completely based on inaccuracy, when we start deciding one another uh, what each other's spiritual practice is fundamentally wrong, then I have a problem with that. And I will always stand for us to be in the room together. I will always do that. And if it means that... um, if it means I have to stand outside for 50 degrees outside of an editor's office in Morris, Manitoba, I'll do that. I did it. Stood outside for seven hours. Froze my hands off. But I was committed to a relationship. Not because I wanted the newspaper closed down or I wanted it. I didn't want, I wanted a conversation. And so that's done through gift giving. And gift giving is through things like words and meetings and time. Because the most precious gift we have is time. There's nothing more precious than that. Um, my daughter reminds me of that when I'm late <laughs> picking her up. She's like, that's my time, Daddy. Oh, yeah.